Ah, najua kwamba hii syllabus nime nimeituma mle Telegram lakini kwa sababu sio wote ambao pia nataka kuingia Telegram, yani kuna watu tu fulani ambao wao ni wabishi, hawataki ku kufanya tu vitu kwa namna ambayo tutaelewana sana. Ngoja tu kabla sijaanza kurusha video za psychology, ni tume kwanza hivi vitu nivieleze kwa uchache. Kwenye advanced biology topic ya kwanza ni psychology. Psychology. Kwa psychology hapa kwanza kuna concept. Hapa tutasoma tu meaning na importance za kusoma psychology. Meaning of psychology. Kini kuna cell theory. Hapo ta state cell theory na main ideas. And here kuna kitu na kita challenge. Kuna kitu na kita challenges. Or drawbacks. Drawbacks of the theory. Kwa hiyo vitu kama hivyo vipo. Na some of teachers hawafundishi. Yapo uo vinaulizo kwa mtia. Lakini pia tutaenda kuona mambo ya cell structure and function ambapo tutaona kuna plant cell na animal cell tazi identify then kutakuwa kuna eukaryotic cell ambapo tutaona function of organelle adaptation of each organelle as upo organelle the year main yani organelle ni nyingi hapa ni kitu ambacho unaweza kufundisha hata mwezi mzima kwa darasa sub organelle moja moja ni kwa mfano mimi youtube nitakuwa na lecture organelle moja moja mpaka wanaisha lakini pia kuna structure ya nani ya prokaryote na kumdifferentiate kati ya prokaryote na eukaryote pia kuna concept of significant concept of cell differentiation and its significance hapo tutakao imeisha cytology topic ya pili biochemist yani hii yote huwa inachukuliwa kama ni moja kama study of the cell hii ni organic constituents of the cell. Kwa hiyo syllabus yameandika organic constituents of the cell. we normally call it is biochemist. Now hapo utasoma carbohydrate, utasoma lipid, utasoma protein, utasoma enzyme, utasoma ATP, utasoma water. Katika hizi zote lazima ujue chemical constituent. Kwa mfano carbohydrate ina carbon, ina hydrogen, ina oxygen. Tukija kwenye lipid ina nini? Protein na nini? Enzymes zina nini? ATP na nini? Water ni ni organic of course it is simple tu kwa hiyo haina haja kujua chemical constituents lakini kuna categories kwa mfano carbohydrate tuna monosaccharide tuna disaccharide tuna polysaccharide kwa mfano lipids tuna triglyceride tuna wax ziko aina nyingi za lipid kuna cholesterol ambazo hizo ndo steroids kwa mfano protein tuna amino acid tuna primary stew protein secondary protein tatu unatakiwa ujue function in the body kwa mfano carbohydrate is used as source of energy tumika for storage sio natumika the building block lipid and tumika sio source of energy sio source of metabolic water sio nini protein hivyo hivyo ukija kwenye enzymes enzymes nazo hiyo function zake kwenye body enzymes of course function yake ni moja tu they act as biological catalysts lakini pia unatakiwa ujue properties properties za kila mmoja carbohydrate kwa mfano carbohydrate carbohydrate monosaccharides they are reducing sugar they have ability to reduce to reduce uh, blue ile 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 chemical ambayo tunaitumia kwenye food test ambayo inakuwa ni blue ile chemical ni kwamba rangi yake huwa inabadilika baada ya kufanywa reduction inaenda kwa kwenda kwenda kwa kwenye brick red kwa hiyo ile pale ni kutokana kwamba mle ndani mnakuwa mnakopa tu ile kopa tu inakuwa reduced kwenda kwenye kopa 1 unaona this is kopa 2 this is kopa 1 kwa this appears is blue unaona kwenye benedict solution in appears blue while this appears is brick red unaona hapa katikati kuna 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 change the color mbalimbali ambazo zinatokea so hapa maana yake tumetoa electron mmoja tumetoa electron moja hapa maana yake this is positive 2 plus electron tume add electron kwa maana yake huyo meact is reducing agent ametoa electron imempa huyo hapa huyo alivyo receive electron and become ile pale then lipid due properties zake reaction zake yani mambo mbalimbali pia hapo kwenye liquid ni mengi protein kama sema labda protein they are amphotelic in nature au amino acid amphotelic 
they have both acidic and the basic properties ujue hivyo vitu vyote then from there mwisho siku ujue chemical test ambazo moja kati ya vitu nilivyokuwa navielezea hapo pia kwenye properties ni chemical test from there utakuja kwenye kwenye hii topic sasa ya pili principle of classification however hii topic walimu wengi huwa wanaifundishaga mwisho ni mwisho ni kwa sababu ni hii of course ni fupi ni, ni, ni topic ya form 5 ni fupi kwa hiyo hii huwa hawaiogopi sana lakini natural groups hii ndio ndefu kwa in principle of classification tutasoma tu systems of classification artificial natural thyrogenic na phenetic toka hapo tutasoma merit na demerit za hizi systems hapa juu toka hapo tutaenda kwenye categories of classification yani sijui kingdom phylum class order zile ranks of classification toka hapo tutaenda kwenye nomenclature utasoma rules na type za nomenclature pia hapo tutaenda kuona mambo ya advantage advantage and disadvantage of each system disadvantage of each system of classification pia utaona kuna taxonomic key concept of taxonomic key ambako huko utaona kuna identity key pamoja na bracketed keys hizi zote ni types za dichotomous key kwa kuna kitu nakita dichotomous key na recent years recent years 2018 2019 wamekitoa sana kwa mtihani kwa hiyo zamani walikuwa wakitoa lakini nowadays wanakipenda sana na naamini hata miaka ijayo yani hii 2020 na hata kuendea 21 wanapenda sana kukitoa either wasipotoa practical wanatoa theory from there natural groups of organism ambapo hapa ndo tunasoma kwanza tunasoma virus virus tunasoma characteristics structure of virus main events in viral replication au kwa lugha nyingine hapa tunasoma virus life cycle tunasoma problem associated with virus classification yani virus wanaweza kwa existence is living or non living na tunaenda kuona characteristics za virus then kuna advantage na disadvantages of virus na pamoja na economic importance zake. From there kuna kingdom monella au maana ni bacteria, protoctista. I mean ni prokaryotics. Prokaryotic cell, monella au bacteria. Kwa kwenye bacteria tutaangalia division you bacteria, you bacteria yote angalia hiyo. Ni pia kuna kingdom plantae. Kingdom protoctista I mean kingdom protoctista hapo tutasoma wadudu wengi yani wengi wengi hapa ndo karibia kila mtihani wa pepa 2 advance hii topic hii hii topic ni ya pepa 2 wakati hapa ni ya pepa 1 na ile cytology na biochemistry zote ni za pepa 1 hasa karibia kila mtihani wa pepa 2 lazima hapo kwenye protoctis hapa na swali yani shinda kutoa virus wapi lazima hapa protoctis aliyo swali na lizopoda tutasoma tutasoma zuma stigma api complexa Uglena hapa lizopoda kwa mfano mweba zuma stigma hapo tutasoma kwa mfano trypanosoma api complex kwa mfano ni anopheles etianopheles i mean api complex kwa mfano ni plasmodium afu kuna uglenophyta kwa mfano ni uglena kuna oomycota na chlorophyta kwa kuna oomycota na chlorophyta hizo zote mwisho tutamalizia na advantage na disadvantage From there topic inayofuata ni hii kiendelea mbele kuna classification za fungi zygomycota scomycota na basidio mycota of then kuna advantage and disadvantage of fungi from there pia kuna plantae ambayo tutasoma bryophyta phytophyta coniferophyta na kwa hizo zote tutaenda kuchambua life cycle hapo tutaenda kuangalia concept of alternating generations yani kwamba plants wao wow, wao wanakuwa na kitu kinakuwa kinaitwa alternation of generations kwenye ile life cycle yao kuna huko kuna upande na kuwa ni kuna huko kuna upande na kuwa ni sexual upande mwingine na kuwa ni ni asexual kwenye generation moja asexual kwa vitu kama hivyo then we shall complete with kingdom animalia about to na phylum platyrrhinites aselminithes ambao ni nematodes au roundworms tutaenda kuona annelids annelids then 
platymethes they are flatworms flatworms then nematodes they are roundworms then annelids they are segmented worms arthropods then systems of arthropods different system and here we shall dig to all about things of dissection yani tutaenda kuona moja kwa moja genes ambavyo unaweza kum dissect na kumuona organism fly pia kuna kwa data ambao hapa ndo vertebrates taenda kusoma hapa taichimba hii faira mbalimbali kwa hiyo nimependa nichambue kwanza hichi kipande kidogo kabla tujaenda kwenye kipande kingine. Kuna topic nyingine hapo advance. Kuna excretion, kuna respiration. Hapo form 5 tu kuna excretion, kuna respiration. Topic nyingine kama hizo lakini kwa sababu tunaanza na cytology sasa. Nadhani umeshapata mwanga kidogo wa elimu ya advance. Kidogo advance is not like your level. Kwa jitahidi tu kutengeneza namna fulani ya juhudi kudi tu kubwa ya kusoma vitabu ah, unaweza tu kafao hii ni description fupi ya syllabus kwa urefu ingia telegram group i download the syllabus afu. angalia zaidi tuna vitu vingi zaidi asanteni wote